let us consider draft balance sheets of X Limited as on 31st March 20X1. The share capital is uh, given in that you have equity shares. The equity shares they are having a face value of rupees 10. 14% preference shares. Preference shares are having a face value of 100. General reserve, debentures, trade payables, and other current liability. Assets they are having land and buildings, plant and machinery, furniture, investments, inventory, trade receivables, cash and bank balance. In other information, they are saying that Y Limited takes over X Limited on 10th April 20X1. Debenture holders of X Limited are discharged by Y Limited at 10% premium by issuing own 15% debentures of Y Limited. 14% preference share holders of X Limited are discharged at a premium of 20% by issuing preference uh, by issuing necessary number of 15% preference shares of Y Limited. The face value will be 100 each. Intrinsic value per share of X Limited is rupees 20 each, and that of Y Limited is 30. Y Limited will issue equity shares to satisfy the equity shareholders of X Limited on the basis of intrinsic value. However, the entry should be made at Par value only. The nominal value of each equity share of Y limited is rupees 10. Question is compute the purchase consideration. We had discussed in the earlier episode that purchase consideration means what you are going to pay to equity shareholders and preference shareholders. So if you see in information 2, they are saying debenture holders of X limited are discharged by Y limited at 10%. Okay, fine. This information will be ignored by us as far as purchase consideration is considered. In purchase consideration, I will consider only information three and information four because this is what you are paying to the shareholders of the selling firm, right? They are saying Y Limited takes over X Limited. That means Y Limited is the purchasing company and X Limited is the selling company. So, Y Limited will take over X Limited. There is only one company, X Limited. So it seems to be a case of absorption over here. X Limited is an existing company whose business is going to be sold to Y Limited. They have not given us any information about Y Limited because this question is only for computing the purchase consideration. So we have to basically understand information four and three. The sum total of information four and three, that is what will become the purchase consideration. I will first consider information four, right? We will first consider always equity shareholders. Okay, they are saying intrinsic value per share. Intrinsic value per share, that's nothing but the IVPS. Of X limited is rupees 20. X limited means selling company. And that of Y limited is rupees 30. So that is nothing but the purchasing company. And then they are saying Y will issue equity shares to satisfy the equity shareholders of X limited on the basis of intrinsic value. So it seems that we are going to offer to them a share exchange ratio based on IVPS. Share exchange ratio we had discussed in the earlier episode. Share exchange ratio shall be the selected base of selling company divided by selected base of purchasing company. In other words, it will be 20 divided by 30 and that is what will become our uh, what we can say share exchange ratio and based on the share exchange ratio, we will be determining what will be the purchase consideration. They are saying entry should be made at par value only. In other words, whatever shares that we are going to issue, those shares are going to be issued by us at par. So we are going to issue shares at the intrinsic value. So accordingly, we'll work out the purchase consideration. So that is for equity shareholders. In information three, they are saying 14% preference shareholders of X Limited are discharged at a premium of 20%. In other words, we are ready to pay them 20% extra. If you see the balance sheet, your preference shares are 2,500. This 2,500 
we will increase by 20 percent we are ready to pay them 20 percent extra and that is how we will decide what we are going to pay to the preference shareholders as i said the sum total of the two that is what will become your purchase consideration so let's calculate the same we say computation of purchase consideration computation of purchase consideration I believe the figures are in thousands. Yes. So we first consider over here what we are paying to the equity shareholders what we are paying to the equity shareholders i check the balance sheet now see in balance sheet your equity share capital is 7500 shares are of 10 rupees each that means there are 750 equity shares and as we have understood, our share exchange ratio is going to be based on IVPS. So let us see, show what we are going to do with the equity shareholders. We say 750. Our share exchange ratio is 20 divided by 30. You can even say 2 by 3. So that is turning out to be 500 so we say 500 shares of y limited y limited is the purchasing company so 500 shares of y limited and they are saying we will issue it at par so we will issue this at rupees 10. so we are giving equity shareholders something worth 5000 Yes, next we say preference shareholders. Preference shareholders. Okay, what are we giving to the preference shareholders? Information three, twenty percent premium, right? Preference shareholders are twenty five hundred. Our preference shares will have our preference shares will have dividend rate of fifteen percent and the face value is going to be hundred. Okay. Let's show it for the preference shareholders. In the balance sheet, it is 2500. We are ready to pay them 20% extra. So 2500 plus 20%, that is turning out to be 3000, which I'm dividing by the par value, which is 100. Okay, I divide this by par value 100. So it is turning out to be 30, 15% preference shares of Y limited at the rate rupees 100. Okay. So that is turning out to be worth 3000. I take a total, my total is 8000. Right. 8000 is our purchase consideration so we have our purchase consideration 8000 i like to explain this share exchange ratio so just put as a note i say
share exchange ratio is selected base of selling company here the base is ivps so i say ivps of selling company divided by ivps of purchasing company so that is how i'm getting 20 by 30 or you can even say 2 by 3 or you can even write this as 2 is to 3 right but yes this is our main answer if you see this carefully it is not giving you only purchase consideration it is also giving you the discharge of purchase consideration that how the purchase consideration got settled even that information is also available purchasing company will issue 500 but yes remember the figures are in thousands the purchasing company will issue 500 shares at 10 for the equity shareholders of the selling firm and will issue 30 15 percent preference shares at rupees 100 to discharge the preference shareholders we are also issuing debentures to debenture holders but ignore that what you pay to equity shareholders and what you pay to preference shareholders only that forms part of the purchase consideration so if you are still writing you can pause the video here for yeah this will be better for the answer and you can then pause the video even here to understand how we calculated the share exchange ratio.